Namaste and welcome. My name is Archana with Divine Soul Resonance. I welcome everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. To all my beautiful existing subscribers, thank you so much for shining your light and giving me an opportunity, a platform to shine my light out. And to all the ones who are visiting my channel for the first time and you like the content, go ahead and subscribe and become a part of this community. So today I was guided to start a new series on my channel uh, and this is going to be about your gifts. I'm going to explore a few different aspects of what our gifts are, why are they being awakened now and what are some of the steps that you can take to develop these gifts and what you're going to experience as a result of a greater embodiment. Each one of us, as we've incarnated on Earth, have these innate soul gifts. But many times, with the third dimension, with illusions, we begin to compare ourselves to others and we don't see the greatness, the beauty, the divinity, and all the amazingness within us. So today in this uh, first part of the series, in this particular video, I'm going to look at what are your past life gifts that are being activated right now we're going to explore together this is a general reading so um, if you want something that's personal you can always reach out to me let's look at what are the past life gifts that are opening up being awakened within you right now past life gifts awakening within the people right now. Past life gifts awakening within the people right now. Past life gifts awakening within the people right now. Past life gifts awakening within the people right now. Let's start with these and then I'll pull tarot. Hmm. What I'm seeing over here is that you have a deep connection to the angelic realm, to higher dimensions, to more ethereal realms. So you have the gift of rising above the density. Density is the third dimension. This is where we are living on earth, the dense plane, the material plane. And as we move up into lighter dimensions, you're able to experience lightness, joy, happiness, bliss, ecstasy, creativity, and compassion. So you have a strong angelic connection. So your connection to the angels is a part, the way you connect with them is a part of your latent gift, okay? That is being awakened. You have a deep, deep soul bond, soul connection. Some of you, I feel, are earth angels that you've lived in these angelic realms as an angel and you've chosen to incarnate on earth. You've chosen to incarnate on earth at this time to help humanity, to remember, to remember the divinity and also to help others to connect to their angelic presence and to their guides to assist them. I feel that is a gift. And it is interesting that today, as I was setting up, I, um, <laughs> I chose to wear this colored bracelet. This is angel, angelite, the color blue. I have many. I'm an energy healer. I'm a crystal healer. I work with crystals. Um, for those of you who've been here on my channel, you might have seen me kind of wear this. This is kyanite, again, connection with the angelic realm. But today, out of all my bracelets that I like to, I said, you know, for the gift, I'm feeling this color. 
and I didn't know what was going to be coming up, right? The angelic presence, the angelic connection. You have a strong gift that is being awakened on this. And I feel that some of you are the earth angels sent here to work with the animals. You have this gentle spirit that connects very naturally to the animal realm here. Okay. You are able to communicate at a different level. They're drawn to you. You're drawn to different types of animals. You see them all around you. There is an intuitive, deep connection you have with them. And I feel that it's a gift that is existent in you. You have worked in some past lives working with animals. And there is this deep connection that is being awakened. So your guidance here is to uh, trust your inner self. Okay? Because animals are a part of your life's work. Okay? This, will, this would be something that you will take to the next part of the reading, which I'll do in another video. But this one is you do have a strong connection. Maybe you have pets. Maybe you are a vet. Maybe you like volunteering um, you know, at a pet shelter. And if you have not really explored that aspect, notice how you are when there are pets, you're in a garden, you're going in a park, you're watching different animals, you, you know, you're seeing different, different things. Sense and see that you're tuning in actually to their vibration and they're communicating things with you. That's going to heighten, okay? There is some part of your life purpose at this stage that is involving your connection with animals. How beautiful. Then we got the energy of the sacral chakra. This is the home of the divine feminine, Aswadhisthan chakra. The chakra for emotions, creativity. Do you see all that orange? That's so beautiful. And I was wondering why out of all my decks today, I had a lot of carnelian that came out. You know, carnelian, it's like this color. It's that energy of creativity, sensuality. Uh, coming back into the uh, excitement, the happiness, the joy, uh, feeling present, feeling present in this body, enjoying our senses. So you have this innate gift of tremendous amount of creative ideas, creativity. You're like a storehouse, I feel, of creativity. Okay, so there's a lot of if you're feeling like I have unmet desires, I wanted to experience this in life, I wanted to do this, but the life has been so challenging and I don't know which way to go. Um, I'm disconnected. I, I don't know what my whole abundance matrix is. I don't feel abundant. You are healing your sacral energy. You're healing your connection with the divine abundance matrix. You're healing this energy of the flow because sacral is the flow. It's the energy of the feminine. So I'm telling you, we got two, two, three cards of feminine energy, whether you're male or female. You have this tremendous um, you're, you're like, I'm sensing is this powerhouse of, um, you're like this magician who can just pull things out of the hat. And you want to work with animals, you'll work with animals. You want to work with uh, women, you'll work with women. You want to work with uh, men, you'll work with men. You want to work with youth, it will open up that. So whatever direction that you're guided to, whatever you'll follow, your creativity is going to just flourish. It's going to just open up. So part of your gift is that you are highly creative. So if you felt blocked, um, part of what you can do is to start connecting back in nature, meditate, ask and look for the guidance when you're in nature, connect with the element of water, start to do some things that are going to um, you know, bring in happiness and joy just for the sake of happiness and joy with no ultimate or no expectation and no goal 
in mind right so i feel like you also have the gift of manifestation you can manifest success and abundance in not just your life but in the lives of many many people around you and that is something that is very strong within you okay i am definitely picking that up a lot then another part that i'm picking up about your gifts is that you have been probably in a lot of your divine masculine energy of go 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 do 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 i need to do this i need to achieve this and on the go you have forgotten the softest part you've forgotten the energy of the divine feminine which is the energy of receptivity it comes in stillness it comes with playfulness it comes with lightness it comes with being kind it comes with being gentle compassionate forgiving you are innately a receptor whether you're male or female you have a strong strong receptive energy so whatever you've been experiencing in your life so far i feel that it has been a part of your deep emotional clearing uh you've gone through a lot of emotional challenges restrictions and difficulties because your cauldron you know i have my uh, sacred sound bowl here your cauldron was meant to be cleansed it was meant to be cleared so that you can receive more and more of your soul gift and your soul life purpose you're meant to have and enjoy this life you're meant to experience the abundances you're meant to not just experience the abundance for yourself but to bring forth that light and abundance in the lives of all okay so you do have this gift and then from my atlantis uh energy we have the gift of nourishment okay so um you also have a gift about actually being very mindful of the physical environment um in your past life you have worked a lot on when i say working on your body here what it is is you're recognizing and honoring your physical body as the temple physical body as the vehicle for the container of your soul energy okay so honoring the physical vehicle and not being judgmental not being judgy towards how it is what the form is what the face should look like what the hands should look like what the body should look like should a could a would a and all those are the third dimensional energies and because you have this deep angelic connection and for some of you you are angels here right now you've incarnated in this physical body so you understand at the etheric level because at the angelic realms and at the higher dimensions we are moving away from physicality so now you also understand that when you have taken birth on earth in the physical body that it is such a beautiful temple that you know how to honor it you've done that in another life in other lives so that's been awakened so i feel like a lot of you a part of it is maybe you will be working with um things like i am picking up ayurveda herbals um uh you know a uh, self care maybe your masseuse maybe your massage therapist yes so what else am i picking up i'm picking up maybe you are into fitness okay why you're drawn to that energy of i want to be a personal trainer i want to be um um you know a yoga teacher i want to be a nutritionist you know something to that area which is awakening why it's important to bring balance in into the physical body i feel like a part of that gift is awakening and some of you may be um the ones who are honoring that i want to eat organic food i want to eat like food that is very local and home grown uh because there is a deeper nourishment and a deeper connection that you have to your to your local environment you're recognizing that you also have the gift of energizing the crystals to bring in more purity to your foods okay that's just something of a very specific message that i'm picking up okay um and i feel like that uh, you 
have an innate gift and you will radiate that health. You understand the physical temple. So I feel you're receiving, there's, there's a gift. Oh, wow, there is a gift that you're going to receive. If you've been struggling with physical health and certain issues in your physical health, you are now recognizing and honoring the physical body. There's something that's coming in that you're awakening. This is a past life gift where you've maintained a very healthy, a strong, nourished, and a radiant physical body, okay? When the spirit is completely embodied in the physical vehicle, you become like this radiant energy. And I feel a part of your gift is you're meant to be serving as that light to show others how to nourish the body, how to open up to these different channels. So each one of us will be drawn to different aspects of body nourishment. So whatever you're called to, know that it is a part of your gift that is being awakened. So don't let other people judge you on why are you interested in this, you know, this is this or this is that. These are the gifts that are awakening and we'll tap more into why these gifts are being awakened at this time. Let's take a little bit more from Tarot to see um, what are your past life gifts that you are awakening right now. What are the past life gifts that the people are awakening right now? I'll take one more. This one. And what is the one that flew out? Let's have a look. Wow. <laughs> past life gifts. Let's have a look. Hmm. Let's start with this one. I'm feeling with this one, with the five of forces, summer and winter, you're understanding that there is a cycle in nature. You have the gift of going with the flow. Like you understand that in winter, when there is less of that nourishment that's available, there is harshness or there's cold, there's not that much that's growth there, that it's time to hibernate, to put the energy inward. And then there is a time for growth, okay? So I feel like you in a past life, have had again i'm seeing a lot of plants so some of you have that green thumb okay some of you have the, again i'm being shown animals and i'm also seeing that this is from the olden times with this mill that you've known how to use the resources whatever are the resources whether it's in the summer month or you were in the winter months given the resources that are available to you, you're able to flourish, you're able to uh, live an expanded life. So you have this gift of going with the flow, of learning to live and live from an expanded state. That's what I'm picking up over here, that that's a gift, okay, to be able to understand. And I also feel you have the gift to understand polarities and you also have lived in places where I'm also sensing with this cold that you've been out in the cold in some past lives where you felt abandoned, where you felt limited, where you felt rejected, where you felt unloved. And then there have been these cycles where you have toiled and worked hard and you have grown and there is like a lot of abundance here. So you have this gift of understanding that through this limitation that there was a lot that was birthed. So, oh, there's another message that I'm seeing over here. So this is the gift of the soul, this period where you have felt lack or limited or restricted really has been something that is pushing your soul towards greater growth, greater connection to Mother Earth, greater connection to the physical realm. And you're bringing light to the, to the shadow aspects. You have this gift. I'm sensing a gift of alchemy. So if you're seeing the numbers 555, five, five, there you have the gift of alchemy, nourishment, 
along with that. And this is the energy of receptivity, what lies beneath, what lies beneath the earth and you are bringing light up. So that's part of your gift. And again, over here, the queen is someone who is uh, in a place of authority, in a place of mastery, is in a place of abundance, not coming from a place of lack. You have the gift of the divine feminine energy and the divine masculine energy. Okay, again, I'm sensing the moon and the sun and the cycles, the vibrancy, your understanding, the beauty of it all. Do you see that? The vibrancy of the dark and the light all in one embodied so you have this gift of rising above any challenges okay that's what i'm feeling you're rising above these challenges to see and create this ultimate abundance you have done it before in a past life perhaps you've been royalty you've had a lot of abundance not some of it and for some of you have gone through a period of restriction or you're feeling that restriction now so you're awakening the queen or the king energy within you you're awakening the part within you which understands that you can master it that you've already mastered it that the abundance is already there so i feel that you've also led other people so the gift of leadership is being awakened within you that's what i'm picking up and this particular queen what i'm picking up over here is not only are you honoring yourself you're honoring the environment so some of you the gift of being an environmentalist and coming in harmony with mother nature is very very important and that's being awakened so for some of you, you may connect with the energy of twin flames. This is the lover's, lover's card that the feminine energy can nourish anything and bring back to life. So I'm feeling more like the Isis and Osiris story. I'm just absolutely picking that up. And where she went to all across the earth to find and put together her divine masculine. Okay, so you have the gift to nourish all aspects and all of life. Okay, some of you are drawing to you a divine counterpart, okay, with whom you will have this deep soul connection, you will have this deep soul bond with. Okay, and that's perhaps why in this life you may be drawn to searching for the one, you've been waiting for the one, to be connected to the one. Okay, so because it's a part of your gift, you have integrated the masculine and the feminine energy. And there is the energy of 21 to 1. Okay, so I'm seeing you as a part of your gift. You see this? This is a completion. And I'm sensing over here with this whole star energy here, again with the queen. So you've been crowned. You have learned. And I feel like you've absolutely been in places of authority. So your energy of leadership, your energy of inner authority, your energy of mastery is being awakened. You have mastered these lessons. You have mastered the lessons of the light and the dark. You have mastered the lessons of spiritual with the material. And that is now being awakened when I'm feeling the big energy of the master awakens. The master awakens that is a big gift that i am sensing that is awakening within you with this masculine energies a big I, i'm feeling like with one one foot in the water which is the divine feminine energy there's the water element again so honoring the masculine and the feminine principle and with this snake here representing a kundalini is using a kundalini energy to rise above you have that gift okay and with these i'm sensing like these wings that you are awakening your angelic self you're awakening and remembering to your angelic self you're awakening and remembering the cycles of life and death you're awakening and remembering the gift in softness in the gift in receptivity i'm feeling this is the final closing message for you that this is the gift you're opening to the gift of receptivity. So 
So these are the past life gifts that you are awakening at this time. <sighs> Thank you, angels. Thank you for this uh, beautiful messages and making me a channel today. So. Thank you. <laughs> if you've been here, you've uh, come here for the first time and you've enjoyed the reading, um, thank you so much for being here. And uh, thank you for subscribing. May these gifts open up in the most uh, beautiful way. Um, so watch out for my next reading. The next reading is going to look at why are these gifts being awakened at this particular time. Um, and I'm going to put this up in a playlist with uh, the title, something related with gifts, okay? So that's what I have for you. If you want a personal reading, you can reach out to me. If you want a mentorship um, or, you know, work with me and coach with me, I'll be providing all those details in the description box of this video. So thank you all for being here. I sent you many blessings. May these awaken in the most beautiful and positive way. Take care and namaste.